Hi, it's April 22nd and I just found out that I am pregnant <laughs> on Wednesday, April 19th and I don't even know what to say. Um, I feel like I'm gonna cry talking about it. I haven't told anyone and I'm just filming this because I decided I would like to do a like video diary of my first trimester of some kind or at least just for myself um and yeah David and I it was Wednesday night and we were just not really doing anything and we were talking about how my period was late and I asked him if he would like to go get a pregnancy test with me and it was just barely late so a few months ago i mean sorry like two months ago i had a pretty late period and i was so excited and i thought um you know i was pregnant and i got all excited i thought about it all the time for like a week and then my period came and it was just a kind of late period so i felt pretty sure that this would be the same type of situation and so I really didn't want to get my hopes up, but for some reason I just told Dave we should go get a period, I mean a pregnancy test. And um, we went to this little gas station down the road um, and got like a $2 pregnancy test, like the cheapest one. And um, we just, I took it when we got home and almost immediately it showed pregnant, like the two lines. And it just felt like, this is crazy. This can't be real. Um, I think we both kind of were just like joking about it, like not really believing it. And, but also like immediately very, very excited. And um, then, uh, we tried to relax for like an hour and then we just kept thinking like, okay, maybe that's just a really cheap, bad pregnancy test. So then we went and got two others and I took those and they were all pregnant and um, or they all showed that I was pregnant. And so, yeah, I'm pregnant. Um, I feel great. And... So I'm trying to eat a lot of protein, hydrate a lot. I am getting like cramps, but I've heard that that's normal. They're really mild. They're just like, um, I've heard that that's normal though during first trimester or even throughout your pregnancy maybe just because there's so much happening down there and so much growth. Um, and yeah, I'm very, very excited. I'm also terrified that you know something's gonna go wrong and this won't come to fruition or whatever but it's also just even if it doesn't work out and we have a miscarriage or some horrible thing happens i just am so happy because i think um david and i both really felt like maybe we couldn't get pregnant we've been married um you know over 10 years now and I've never been on birth control and we haven't ever been super, super care. I mean, we've been careful because we knew we wanted to wait to have kids, but it's not like we've been exact and it could have possibly, if we had a pregnancy scare at some point or like if we got pregnant at some point, I don't think either of us would have been totally shocked. But, um, so I think we were just worried that it wouldn't happen and then it happened and now we know that it can happen, that there's nothing wrong with either of us and that alone is such a relief and I'm just so excited. <laughs> the baby will be due around December, um, 25th, like right on Christmas day actually is the projected due date on the apps I have. I haven't had any appointments or anything yet, but I just think that's hilarious and kind of funny, like just kind of weird. Um, but I don't know. It works out really well with, um, you know, it just works out. It's a really, really good time. And so I hope it all goes well. And I hope I continue feeling so well. I feel great. Um, so I will continue to update throughout the first trimester and um, hopefully throughout the rest, if all goes well.
so it has been a long time since I have vlogged. I am now 13 weeks pregnant, um, so officially in the second trimester, and I think I haven't vlogged in so long because it was just, I wasn't feeling very well. I was feeling so tired. Um, I feel like my symptoms, I'm very thankful they were not bad at all really um or they haven't been bad and i am just so thankful for that i know that that's rare and i know a lot of women have it really hard in pregnancy and knock on wood <laughs> things have not been that bad but it was um like i did have very serious exhaustion um <laughs> like i've told people i would come home from work um and it would only be like four o'clock and I just could not keep my eyes open, could not do anything except lay on the couch, I would fall asleep. And then I'd just go to bed really early and I got so much sleep, but I still would feel just as tired the next day. So um, I feel like that's over. I feel like my energy level is kind of back. I'm feeling um, very excited because um, I'm about to be on my summer break since I'm a teacher and um, that's just going to be wonderful. I have all these ideas of things I want to get done and accomplished, um, but we'll see what actually happens. I, I want to do everything as far as like getting ready for the baby soon but I realize that's probably not gonna happen I need to just wait but I do want to just get rid of a lot of things and kind of declutter um as a way of kind of preparing to move the baby stuff in so that's what I'm gonna focus on this summer and then I have a lot of fun family events coming up which I might vlog some but they're really just a big family trip a family like that's really a family reunion and then um my little sister's wedding so um what other thing could i update you on um yeah I, we've been doing great things this you know during this time i haven't really been vlogging and i put some clips in but there have been so many things i really should have vlogged but i just didn't and I feel really bad and kind of sad about that because um, there have been some good memories, but um, yeah, it's fine. I think right now I'm just sitting down to do my um, baby shower invitation. My mom suggested that I try to paint my own baby shower invitation. So I'm gonna just see what happens. If I don't end up liking it, then we can just buy a design um but i'm gonna try to do it and i have a scanner so if it works i'll just scan it and then do some editing of it on like with the text on um canva so let's see how it goes um yeah i i had some nausea in the first trimester i, I should have mentioned this before um but i only threw up once from it and otherwise it was just like this constant nausea and i just had to eat or i didn't have to but i did eat a lot and um because eating it, like if i had something in my stomach the nausea would be a lot better so it helped but um i definitely have not been as active or as good about like watching what i eat um, which I really don't care. I'm like forgiving myself. Like I realize that's a very hard time in my life and I can't be expecting too much of myself, but I think it has been hard on my mental health health in some ways. Like generally I've been very happy and excited, but I think I just feel like, oh, I need to be doing more. I need to be like going and walking more and all this stuff. So that's something in the second trimester I really want to do. I want to go back to the gym, get back into weightlifting because that's something I really wanted to do in pregnancy. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do that. And I also want to um, um, just walk, like walk on an incline and walk in general. So yeah, anyway, that's my very long winded update. Second trimester finished. Oh, also, we are having a girl, which I feel like everyone watching this who knows me already knows that probably, but um, 
we are so excited it's so wonderful i can't wait to meet our little girl and um she you know i don't know i just have a really good feeling about her we're trying to figure out a good name and um i have another i have an appointment coming up on wednesday so i'm really excited about that and yeah just lots of exciting times i'm very happy right now and just excited so thanks for listening